start with statistics. Yes, sir. Take off your notebook. So in that statistics, actually what we are going to study? We are going to study mean, median, mode. mode. Okay. And some deviations. And some deviations. So we are going to study about mean, then median, mode. And then we are going to discuss about mode. And then we are going to discuss about some deviations. Correct? That I will tell you step by step. Okay, let us go step by step. Now mean. So the very first topic is mean. So what is the mean? Mean means average value. What actually is the mean? Average value. Okay. So suppose you are having some five data with you. You are having one. You are having two. You are having three, four, five. Eh? Okay. So uh, some Observations, you are having five observations with you. These are observations. What these are? Observation. Observations. Okay. So you observe somewhere and where you found. Suppose what it is there, you want to find out that how many people they read mathematics. Okay. How many person they study mathematics. So in one area when you went, you found that only one person is studying mathematics. In another area, two person is studying. In another area, three person is studying. Like this, you search it for those people who study mathematics in five areas. You went to five areas and you surveyed. You found that these many people are studying mathematics in these areas. Right? Now, somebody will be asking you that what will be the average value? Average, how many persons are studying in this particular area completely? Correct? Okay. So what do you say that suppose in Salem district, Salem district has been divided into five areas and from each area you have got this observations, you have got this result. Now we have to say that in Salem district, on an average, how many people they are studying mathematics, correct? Okay, so then what we will be doing, we will be finding an average value. So average value will be sum of all these observations. Divided by number of observations. Divided by number of observations. How many observations are there? Five. Then you will be going for so 9, 12, 14, 15. 15 by 5. Three. So 3. So you can say that on an average in Salem district, 3 persons are studying mathematics. On an average for Salem district, these values were there for one particular area. Yes or no? But now, for total Salem district, you have said that three persons on an average they are studying mathematics. Okay, so this is called mean. Mean means average value. We need to find average value. Okay, and the data are being given name, and data are represented or observations. Instead of data, what we will be saying here? Observations. Observations. Okay. So x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, like this. Correct? Okay. And number of observations. Suppose you can say n. Number of observations is equal to n. Right? Then our x mean, x mean will be denoted by like this. X mean means X. What are the observations are there? So the mean of the observations will be denoted by X. Okay. So this is mean. Mean of the observations. Okay. Will be represented like this. So X1 plus X2 plus X3. And let us take it as up to Xn. Means N values are there. Okay, and number of observations also will be equal to n. Yes or no? Okay. So now x1 plus x2 plus x3 and plus xn. Yes or no? Yes. Divided by number of observations n. Yes. So this can be written as mean sigma i is equal to 1 to n 
and then x i means i can take value 1 i can take value 2 so from 1 to n 1 2 3 4 up to n and this sigma is showing that it is plus in between it is plus divided by n right so this will be the formula of finding mean okay so when now question arises that when what type of data will be given when direct data is given to you at that time you are finding the formula means mean by utilizing this formula when this type of data is being given but suppose if you are given group data okay you will be given group data group data okay in that group data what it is there suppose in case you are given some data like you can say in Salem for we will go for Tamil Nadu correct number of persons they are studying mathematics in full Tamil Nadu so you can say that in Salem it is free in Coimbatore it is somewhere 5 in Chennai it is 10 in Thirunelveli it will be some 12 huh? Okay, so this type of figure we are getting here. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. So in this type of figure we can add directly. When we will be by utilizing this figure and adding it together, what we will be getting? We will be getting mean of the person who is studying mathematics in full Tamil Nadu. Okay. In full Tamil Nadu. Full Tamil Nadu. Okay. okay. Now another one. Like suppose if it is given grouped data, grouped data means, okay, so what it is given, suppose uh, you can say uh, number of results is code, okay, so the examination is there for you 100 marks? 80 marks. Huh? 80 marks. 80 marks, okay, right. Now, if you are appearing in the examination for 80 marks, then we want to group data, you know. So, Seven. suppose marks range, what we will be going for? Mark range. Mark range. And number of instruments. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Number of instruments is scored. Yes, sir. So, suppose we are putting at 0 to some 20. Yes, sir. So, some 5 instruments have they have scored. Yes, sir. Then we can say from 20 to 40. Yes or no? Yes, then some 10 instruments have scored. Yes, then 40 to 60. Then some 5 instruments have scored. Yes, then 60 to 80. You can say some. You can say 3 instruments uh, have scored. And 80 to 100. Only 2 instruments have scored. Yes, so this distance, okay, up to 80 only it is there. So 80 to 100 will not be there. Correct? Right? Okay. okay. Right. So this difference should be equal. When we are grouping the data, this difference should be equal. Here also 20 gap is there, here also 20 gap is there, here also 20, here also 20. So this is called grouped data. Correct or not? So you are finding that between in this group, these many people. In this group, these many people. Okay? Correct? Yes, sir. Right. So what we are putting here, so here, group data. Uh, this is group data. So how will you be finding mean for group data? Now question arises, how to find, it means this one is okay, but this type of data we need na? x. Yes. So what it will be there, this one will be denoted by fi, fi means frequency, frequency means this many people and from this one, one xi you have to create. So xi will be equal to what? This is called, this first one is called lower class mark, this is called upper class mark and this is called class. What it is called? Class. class. 0 to 20 is a class, 20 to 40 is a class. Okay, in that this lower class mark, upper class mark, correct? So, we are finding average of these two, lower class mark plus upper class mark divided by 2. Okay, so 0 plus 20 divided by 2, what it will be? Average. 
Zero plus twenty divided by two. Ten. So zero plus twenty divided by two. So it is giving you ten. So here we will be writing ten. So x i will become ten. Okay. Now tell me twenty to forty. Thirty. Thirty. Very good. Now tell me fifty. Fifty. Now tell me seventy. Seventy. So what you are doing? You are doing that. First one you are finding by this method. And then what difference is there, na? That you are adding in this one only. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, so easily by adding 20 here and adding 20 here, you are getting next result. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. Now in this group data, you need to find out x i. You need to find out f i. Okay. Right. So this again further one more data you need to find. So what? X i, f i. Now for this group data, the formula will get changed. So what that formula? Listen here. What that formula? So this is for when direct observations are there, but when for mean for group data. Okay. So mean is equal to sigma x i f i. Okay. And i is equal to 1 to n divided by sigma f i. i is equal to 1 to n. Understood this one? Yes, sir. So in this, what we need to find out? We need to find x i f i. Means multiplication of these two. So 10 into 5, 50. Then 30 into 10, 300. Then 50 into 5, 250. Then 70 into 3. 210. Yes, adding all the all of them together, right? Yes, sir. When you are adding all of them together, you are getting sigma x i f i. So you have to add here itself. So this is giving you sigma x i f i. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So now once you are adding, then what you are getting? 300 plus 200, 500. 500 plus 50, 50, 600. 1200. 810. Yeah. Okay. When you are adding them together, right? So what we are getting? 300 plus 200, ah, 500. Yes, uh, 560. 500 plus 50, 50 600. 810. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Now one more thing you need to find. What? Sigma F I. Sigma F I. So sigma F I in two ways you can find. One way you have to multiply. You have to add here. Sigma F I is equal to, you will add 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 5, 20 and 23. Yes or no? Yes sir. Right. Another way what it is there, when you will not to add, you have to use cumulative frequency here. Cumulative frequency. One cumulative frequency will come. I will tell you later on or now also I will tell you for your information. Okay. So cumulative frequency is what? You are writing this 5 directly here. 5 as it is, you will write. Okay? Now, 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 5, 20. 20 plus 3. So, this last number will give you this sum. Yes, sir. Okay? So, if you are doing this one, because when we are going for finding out median, mode, at that time more cumulative frequency we need to find. Okay. So, this is preventing us from adding all of them together. Step wise you are able to get the last number will be giving you the sum. Correct? So, in this case, the mean, how will be finding out? So, mean is sigma x i f i. So, 810? 810. And sigma f i? 23. 23. Okay. Right. So can it be cancelled? Yes, sir. Can it be cancelled? Okay. 3 to 5 it will not be cancelled with 3. 819 it is getting cancelled with 3. So I don't think that it will be getting cancelled. Right? Yes, sir. So most probably we need to find in decimal only. Yes, sir. We need to find in decimal. decimal only. If 4 times we are writing, then it is more than 18, 81. Yes, so 3 times only it will be going. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Okay, so if three times you are writing, so for this one it will become 69. Eh? Yes, sir. So 2, 71. 
So you are getting, you can say 2 and 7, 6, 1, 12, 120. Then 5 times 23, 5 times. So 100 and 50, 115, correct? So 5 times. Point. Again 50. So 23, 2. So you can say that. 35.2 approximately will be the mean of this group data. Okay. For this, directly we will add and whatever number of observations are there, that we can make. Okay. Correct? But in this group data, what we are finding, that 0 to 20, 5 bits have scored. So what is the difference here? In this one, direct number was there. In this one, you are finding frequency, how many persons they scored between 0 to 10, between 10 to 20, between 10 to 20 to 30, like this you are finding. Yes, sir. So you understood now yes, that how to find mean for direct observations yes, and for group data. You have understood now? Yes, sir. Okay, so just you note it down and then we will solve one or two questions from exercise 14.1. Yes, okay? Right.